I love this film so much. Good. Your good, performances good. are so good. Yeah. I know I'm gushing, but it's one of the joys of my job. I get to see a film that moves me and then say thank you to the people who did it. Well, That's pretty you. neat, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, not everybody gets cool. that opportunity to do no, that. No, no, no. <laughs> us too. I don't like really too. Nice. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, we us too. Know, it was a good no. I mean, this film is so tender. It kind of perfectly balances pathos with humour. And I've interviewed so many people before about that being such a tricky tonality. Finding that sweet spot is always described as such a challenge by filmmakers. Mm -hmm. So what do you think it is on this occasion that really allowed for it? Was it Alexander? I mean, Nebraska's another example of it, of course. Is it the characters, the script, the performances? It's Com all of it. Combination of those things. But Alexander really did, truly. He, he has the control over all that stuff, ultimately. Yeah. So it's him somehow. We were saying, you were saying the other day, I mean, he does a thing where he sits by the camera. He's there all the time. And it's almost like his, that, that presence of him by the camera somehow keeps, keeps the tone and keeps the whole movie contained in this kind of warmth yes. that comes from him. I think, mostly, yes. right? Yes. Maybe. And then him, because he's the lead. Mm -hmm. And in the structure of our jobs, the lead sets the tone. Mm -hmm. You can have a crazy director, but if that lead is strong mm -hmm. in regards to their energy and the vibe they put out, they can offset the director and the lead is the one that then, you know. I mean, I literally, I mean, I, cry, I literally cried when Mary was unpacking her son's clothes, mm. and I howled with laughter when uh, when he said "Money, money, Picasso." Because I mean, <laughs> farting is always funny. Oh, that thanks. is the first rule of comedy. <laughs> but, but that led me to my next question: is a bit just was that line in the script? Or is it? In no, the that's I, very <laughs> funny. You point that out. We kept, we we were we were that was a thing we kind of did. It, it was it that it, it was in the script that it says he gets ready for bed. That's all it said. And so we came to shoot that, and we were like, "What are we going to be doing?" And then we said, I don't remember where that came from. Both he and I, I don't know why the hell I said that, but it, it came from something he and I just can't, I don't know. It wasn't in the script, I will tell you that much. I don't know why, it, or the farting or any of it. I don't, and the drunkenness, I don't know. All of it we just That's made up there. That's improv. Yeah, it was really funny. It was wow. a, because we didn't know what we were going to do with that. I said, what is this? He was like, I don't know, we'll figure it out. So we were just like, all right, I think I'm drunk and I'm going to try to do yoga. And then I don't know what the hell we were doing. So, Because, I mean, you could read your character. It's almost like a Roald Dahl, Roald Dahl character. He's got the kind <gasps> of lazy eye, the kind of smell. But you never played him as a caricature. Was that quite a challenge to not, to bring that humanity to him? That's interesting. I mean, yeah, I'm glad that you say that. That's, that's great. I, I didn't. I mean, there's a certain way in which he is he is acting out a shtick a little bit. He knows, you know, how to be the, the proper professor thing. But I'm glad that you think that I that I brought something more to it and it wasn't just cartoony. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, and both of your characters have such a huge positive impact on Angus. And it really got me thinking about teachers that did sort of similarly for me. Uh, do you guys have any sort of teachers or even any, be it at high school or college, or even just someone who took you under their wing when you first got into the industry that, that really kind of had that sort of positive impact on, on you guys? Yeah, I have several teachers. Mm. Teachers rule the world. I have tons. Mm -hmm. All throughout my life. Mm -hmm. Second grade, college, graduate school. Drama school, yeah. 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 And I know uh, awards attention doesn't obviously define a film. Some brilliant films can fly under the radar without any nominations. Yeah, but how has it been kind of being part of the big kind of awards camp uh, sort of season this year and these sort of whole campaigns? Is it an exciting added element to the whole kind of experience of, of making and promoting a movie? Or is it can be quite Absolutely. Exciting? Yeah, for sure. Because yeah. otherwise we'd be done right now. <laughs> That's true. Right. And, yeah. it's, and it's a movie that... I, we both really like, and so that helps. And a hell it's of an a lot. independent, like so independent movies don't always, unless you've those really are got mostly ones that fly under the radar. Yeah, right now, unless you've got like a, you know, super studio or mm -hmm. producer behind it. Those, like, yeah, those usually fall. So it's special in that regard. Yeah, it's very special for this one. Yeah. yeah. Of course, we'll fill in love, Paul, that photo of you in an out burger, um, which just made me hungry. I'm just made me wish to eat. It's not over here in an out burger, unfortunately. So you it's can't only get it in, in the southwest of America. It's so iconic. Right. They don't yeah. have, I mean, it's like, it's a fantastic. <laughs> I love in and out But I mean, I it could lead out. me to my next, because I only ask car eating questions, you see, the things that people are too afraid to ask. But what's your guy's favorite burger? Everyone has a favorite burger. You mean like in an out burger? In an out yeah. yeah, for me, in an out burger. Mm. Do you have a favorite place? I like to cook my own burgers. Nice, see. Smack. But I like smack. I like smashing them. Cause right, let don't get me started. I'll give you <laughs> lots of details on burgers. But yeah, yeah. I like smash yeah. burgers. And just that, uh, I sort of started off by sort of talking a bit about Alexander. So I want to end it on Alexander as well. I mean, obviously, you've worked with him sort of many years ago. Now, I mean, when you have when you have a really successful collaboration with someone, and you then work with them again. At, 
no, a few years on. Is do you sort of find that you you pick up where you left off? Is that shorthand exists throughout that entire time? Absolutely. Yep. Totally with him. Yep. There was no question of it. It just felt like the same. It felt like nothing. Those twenty years had not happened. It just was completely easy to just pick up in exactly the same place. Yep. Brilliant. Well, the result is fantastic. I love this movie. Thank you so much, guys. Thank much appreciated. Thanks, Cheers. Have a nice day. Cheers. Yeah, Cheers. thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys. Hey you guys.